This is the main thing that most of the people use. This is end swell. Swelling uh, underneath the eyes. This thing I use for anything that's in the corner and hard to get where you can't get with the end swell, fits right into the eye over here. Okay, this is for large, uh, large areas. The spoon is good also. Just get some different areas. Get something on the eyelid, fits right in. Here's my adrenaline, I keep that. I have a couple of different Vaselines I use uh, for cut. I use clean Vaseline. Double four by fours. And I have one ready, so I don't have to even get ready to open it up. I'll have it all set. You know, if you're working, you don't really have time to even watch the fight. You're worried about what type of Vaseline you're going to use, what type of, uh, you know, well, the end slow or the headache bag, you know, what you want to use and have it all ready. So the minute between the rounds go by very fast. How many fights are you working tonight? Uh, four. Is that a standard night for fights for you? Uh, standard night is uh, three. Two, three, sometimes. It, but I'm getting down to the point now when I work a championship fight, I'll just work one guy. Like when I work a um, you know, championship, some of the guys, they want you in the room, they don't want you doing anything else, they want the team to be together. George, you're a big, athletic-looking fellow, but as a young boy in Brooklyn, you said that your dream was always to be a cut man. How did that come? come I, I don't know. I was always the uh, I was always the uh, cut man. When uh, the kids used to box in the, the street, I ran up. I got the uh, soda bottle with the water, and I got the Q-tips out of my uh, mother's medicine cabinet. I came down with the towel. I mean, not that I, I boxed, but I always gravitated to being uh, to a cut man. I've also been um, very involved with ambulance. I was an EMT for 24 years. So I always gravitated towards like helping people. Frank, go to the body, right hand to the body, Frank. Right hand to the body, Frank. Yes, sir, I'm going win, baby. I got some shot. I heard that. I felt that. Just couldn't. Just couldn't recover. Sometimes you get hit with a shot so bad like that, knocks so much wind out of you. It was unbelievable. Good stoppage. He couldn't get up. That's one of the famous Mickey Ward shots. How long do you think it'll take that guy to recover? Well, if he don't have a broken rib, I mean, he can recover a couple hours. You know, if he has a broken rib or anything, it might be a bruised rib. It could be longer. But definitely, if it was my fighter, he wouldn't do anything for a month. Mm -hmm. Nothing for absolutely a month. You just met that guy for the first time tonight? No, I worked this corner one time before, and he liked me. I worked this corner when he fought uh, Zab Judah's brother, younger brother. So I didn't even know he was coming up here. I came to the weigh-in, and he seen me, and he asked me to work his corner. You know, very often you'll work guys' corners that you're meeting for the very first time. Guys come in from out of town, they don't have a cut man. Right. Uh, how do you get acclimated that quick to a, a new guy that you just met? I'm very friendly. George DeGabriel, Ron McNair, and Steve Weisfeld. When the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, Jimmy Santa.
Your first fighter got stopped tonight. Your second fighter scored a first round knockout. That's two first round knockouts, one that went either way. Right. Sometimes you eat the bear, sometimes the bear eats you. Right? Sometimes you get a break, sometimes you work in all 12 rounds. I worked fights where I had an eight rounder, I worked every round, then I had a 12 rounder after that, a 10 rounder, and sometimes all first round knockouts. Uh, evens out after a while. <laughs> Boxing is my blood. I'm retired from the police department. Uh, I'll do the boxing as long as I can. I have no uh, no vision of ever giving it up. When I can't climb up these stairs no more, I'll be matchmaking, helping the kids out in the gym. I always give back to the amateurs. No matter what I do with the pros, I spend time with the amateurs, giving them equipment or giving them advice to help them. But this is, this is it for the rest of my life.